we will use this delay line to implement a basic delay effect according to this block diagram. So we have a dry mix part, so we have our input going to again for the dry mix and going to the output. We have a wet mix part, which is the delayed version of our signal. So we have this, the delay line, a wet mix gain, and it adds with the dry mix, and this is our output. And we have this feedback loop where the, uh, this part here, this the signal after the delay line, gets uh, feedback and summed with the input, and here is the signal after uh, this sum, so just before the delay line, and we are going to use this after delay line and before delay line signals also to compute um, our frequency, our transfer function, and to implement in software. So the transfer function for this block diagram is given by this equation here, where D is the dry mix gain, um, W is the wet mix gain, and F is the feedback um, gain, so these gains here, Z to the power of minus N is our delay line, and we have this transfer function. So we can analyze this transfer function in a special case, if we set the feedback gain to zero, then we will have this delayed version of our signal and a non-delayed version of the signal they are added to this output and this results into a computer so if we set the feedback gain in this transfer function to zero we end up with a feedback comb filter so comb filters they can be used as building blocks uh, of many digital audio effects as well so let's take a look at the a frequency response of a comb filter, this time using m equals to 5. So here I'm defining the parameters, so the dry mix gain equals to 1, the wet mix gain equals to 0, and the feedback gain equals, equals uh, 0, and the uh, wet mix gain equals to 0 0.8. So we are not having any feedback here, so we have a direct version of the signal and a delayed version of the signal. Then we are setting our denominator and nominator for the transfer function. Once again, we are going to use SciPy signal to calculate the frequency response. This time I'm using whole equals to true, so I will calculate the frequency response from 0 to 2 pi instead of 0 to pi, uh, that it's more common for uh, real uh, valued signals. But I just want to show the relation between this uh, m equals to 4 and the comb filter. So here I am plotting the magnitude of the computer, and here the phase of the computer, and here we see the magnitude of the computer, and we see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the relation I mentioned between the m equals to 5, and if we will just plot until uh, pi, we will not see the 5, but just uh, for visualization. And here we have the phase of our computer. 